Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, uh, read the questions, try to choose the correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So uh, here is the first question, environmental factors most affect the expression of and here is the five answers to choose from and uh, answer A, codominant alleles if you do not remember what it is, here is my explanation. So imagine that we have um, two parents, that is heterozygous for the um, color of the flower. And uh, this is going to be capital A and small a. And we cross two such parents. And... Uh, using Punnett square we can predict genotypes and phenotypes of the progeny. So here we would have uh, homozygous dominant genotype. Here we would have uh, heterozygous genotype, just like uh, parental uh, genotype. And here we would have homozygous recessive. So uh, this uh, homozygous recessive going to be white flowered plant. Uh, homozygous dominant would be uh, red flowered plant. So this genotype and this genotype in the middle would be the same genotype as the parents and codominance means that uh, uh, the flower uh, would be uh, patches of uh, pure white and uh, pure red. So this is going to be a mixture, but these colors wouldn't mix. So this would be genotype of uh, this progeny as long as uh, uh, phenotype of the parents here and this progeny that is also heterozygous and um, when we have a situation so we can cross out this answer when we have situation uh, as an answer D dominant alleles uh, we have a simple Mendelian genetics where two heterozygous parents would be red flowered because um, this allele would be dominant over this recessive so uh, the color of the uh, flowers of the parents would be red both of them and here three out of four we would have red flowered plants and one out of four we would have white flowered plants. So um, this uh, environmental factors doesn't have effect on um, on the dominant alleles or codominant alleles. Uh, so environmental factors doesn't play a role here. So we can cross out this answer also. And answer C, recessive alleles. Uh, this is an um, example uh, of the recessive alleles. So the uh, flower would be white flowered. And also, um, according to this Punnett square, environment doesn't play a role here. So we have uh, two answers. Answer B, additive alleles and multiply alleles. So let's assume that we have multiply alleles. Uh, this time I would use a different example. Um, most of you know ABO blood group system where we have uh, three alleles. That is uh, A, B and O. And uh, these three alleles can make uh, four different blood groups. One would be blood group A, another blood group B, third blood group would be 
A, B, and the last one would be LUT group O. So, as you see, no matter what the environment would be, uh, it wouldn't affect uh, the blood group of the child. So if parents uh, would have um, blood group, uh, for example, A, both of them, they may have children with a, a blood group A or O. If uh, both parents would belong to the blood group O, uh, there is uh, only way that they would have uh, uh, children with blood group O and not any other blood group. So as you see, environment doesn't play a role here. So we can cross out multiply alleles also, and the only one answer left, additive alleles. And this is correct answer, because when we have additive alleles, we would have a graphic that looks something like this. This would be bell curve, and here would be distribution of the trait. For example, such traits can be color of the skin or tallness. As you see in uh, society, we usually have uh, uh, very few people who is very short, very few people who is very tall, and most of them would be of the average uh, size, average tallness. And uh, the same picture would be when we would have uh, additive alleles, uh, many alleles that would add a little bit uh, to the trait. And of course, environmental factors would play a role here. For example, uh, consider um, uh, sun. If you go to the beach, of course, uh, this would affect your skin color and um, you can also consider such factors as nutrition. If you would be fit better, uh, you may grow taller. So uh, this would be the correct answer. Answer B, additive alleles. Now we can consider uh, the second question. Polygenic inheritance centers around and uh, once again here is a five answers to choose from. So uh, I just want to tell you that uh, as in above example we can cross out uh, all the answers that give us a qualitative trait. So as you see uh, these examples here would be codominance and dominance and recessive alleles and uh, this all would be um, examples of the qualitative traits. So this would be very discrete uh, traits, whether red, whether white, or red and white. So there is no other variance here. So we can cross out such answers, and this is uh, answer E, multiply allele, alleles, and uh, is qualitative. So we can cross out this answer and answer D, additive alleles uh, and is qualitative. And we left with uh, three answers. Answer A, epistasis and uh, qualitative. Uh, once again, uh, we can cross out this answer also. So we left with only two answers. Additive alleles uh, is quantitative and answer C multiply alleles and quantitative which one to choose and uh, as in above example with ABO blood group system when we have multiply alleles uh, we can uh, now know that this is incorrect answer and we can uh, cross out this answer and uh, we only left with one answer that is correct additive alleles and is quantitative so this is would be correct answer. So uh, polygenic inheritance, uh, we also can uh, use formula for the inheritance. Uh, this is h small squared 
equals to variance additive divided by variance total phenotypic. So you have to remember this formula if you study uh, quantitative genetics, plants breeding and selection, uh, you would use this formula all the time. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please uh, write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.